using the technology with very high visual fidelity. So we're doing real-time ray tracing in VR. We were doing 4K real-time ray tracing, and we provided engineering integrity to the data. So you could measure to a sub-millimeter accuracy. You could MRI slice through a whole vehicle with an engine and a powertrain in it, and then have it also reflect the natural, the environment that it was in, provide the right look and presence and shape and form. And the vehicle was life-size in a kind of like an empty room that you could walk around and interrogate. So now engineering, design, and manufacturing could all come together. And then they could actually look at the vehicle tolerances as manufactured, not as built. So you could say, this is what the company, like the assembly process is capable of manufacturing. Is that acceptable build quality for the end customer? Like we, we produce this with six Sigma, we produce this with four Sigma. What, what's acceptable? And then what do we need to change? And so those discussions happened a lot earlier than in the past when the, the line was tooled and then you would build a prototype and then go with a marker and look at the areas that were really bad for the first few runs of the vehicle. So that it really was a game changer. And the, the thing that made it work was that the, the teams came together and it was it's part of the product development process. So no vehicle is made at Ford that doesn't run through that process. And, and once that happened, once it became like a, a check that needed to be done, then it really legitimized it. And then it the value itself was, was there because it, it was a huge time saver. 